okay, here's a pretty quick way to add a geo-referenced point to a map. And it's by using a, a graphics layer and converting the graphic that you can just draw without any you know, shape file or editing, and then just run a conversion tool. So I usually find it up here. Um, what I'm looking for is to add a graphics layer, but it's also under map, under layer, you can add a graphics layer here. And once you've got that open, it opens up these two new tabs for you. I want to insert a point, and so all the tools for the different graphics that you can insert are here. I want to create a point in Utah. So here's my graphic. It doesn't have any kind of spatial reference to it at all. It's just a drawing, um, but I can convert this. Um, so if we put in graphic to feature, um, this is another way to um, shortcut, but I could also go into the geoprocessing search and search for graphics to feature. We want to put in our graphics layer. I could rename this our Utah point, just so you can see that that's dynamically updated over here. Our Utah point, it is, the graphics type is a point file. And then, um, of course, I want to name this you know, meaningfully and put it someplace where I can find it. I'm also going to delete the graphic after the conversion because what I'm going to end up with is a point in this location that has spatial reference. Um, but you have to use the environment setting to put your coordinate system in here. You have to actually assign a coordinate system. If we drop this down, we could use the current map, but that's the web mercator. I don't want that one. So I want to use this button to browse and choose the coordinate system of my choice. And because I use this a lot, I have um, UTM Zone 12, which is the UTM coordinate system for Utah, saved in my favorites. So we're going to use that one and run. So now I have a Utah point that has spatial reference. If we go under source and extent, you can see that it has location and it has an assigned coordinate system.